Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a review on Honest Beauty products. Now if you haven't seen the video of me showing my haul, um, it was kind of a different feel video but I will link it right here if you haven't seen it already to see my video I guess but you're going to see it now anyways. First off I'd like to thank Jen Rogers for basically getting me all this stuff. She gifted this for my birthday a while back in March and it was the most kindest gesture I've had from someone who I've never met before but I feel like I know her personally so I talk about her as much as I can. I absolutely love her channel. If you guys haven't checked her out, please uh, check her out now. I'll link her up here if that's possible or down in the description box. She's just a super genuine, nice um, person and I just absolutely love her channel. Anyways, definitely check her out. She's a friend of mine and she makes great videos and she posts like three, four times a week which is insane and I can't even do that. So to start, I'm gonna talk about the two blushes that I got or that Jen got me, I guess. Um, I got Truly Charming, which looks like this, and Truly Thrilling. So Truly Charming is more like an orange undertone, and this one's got like a more rosy color, if you guys can tell the difference there. Um, just to talk about the cream blushes in general, for the first while while I was using them, I was applying them with my fingers, and I mean, it worked. I feel like when you apply it with your fingers, you're dabbing more product on, and it kind of applies on pretty heavy because your, I feel like your skin grabs more product. So when you dab it on, there's like a huge spot and you gotta really blend it out. So I found that that was kind of difficult with the cream blushes. So I'm not a huge fan with applying it with my fingers, but I did start to apply it with my brush. I just have the Real Techniques blush brush and I was using that and if you look closely, which I can't tell, I mean I'm sure I'll do close up, but if you actually looked at my blushes closely, there's a lot of um, fuzz in my blushes right now because I use a brush. I find that applying it with a brush is so much easier. So I just take my brush and I dab it a couple times and then I just dab it on my cheeks. And I'm actually wearing truly charming, which is the orangey undertone right now, on my cheeks at the moment. So I just dab it on and I stipple it onto my cheeks and I find that that applies so much more nicely and it's um, a light, even layer and I don't find that I can feel it. I find that when I apply the cream blushes with my fingers, I can feel, I can slightly feel the blush on my skin and I don't like to feel that I'm wearing the makeup just because they are cream blushes so there is a little bit of a heavier I guess texture than a powder yeah that's the only thing so I do recommend applying these with brushes I don't know if anyone feels the same but that's how I feel about them I actually stopped wearing these for a bit because it was so hot and because they're cream blushes I feel like it just adds not that I have oily skin but I just like the powder blush a little bit better um, because my skin gets pretty sweaty I guess not sure how these would work on oily skin, but if you have used these and you have oily skin, please let everyone know down in the comments below what your experience is like with these cream blushes. So yeah, I mean, I do like these. These are would be great for the winter um, when I have dry skin. I do use these every once in a while, like today, and they work great. This actually is like almost an exact dupe of the blush that I had, or that I do still have and trying to use up, which is the Clinique in Ginger Pop, I think it was. I'm actually almost pretty much done this one, which I'm super excited about because I want to start buying some more green beauty blushes, but I don't know if you can tell. This is, you can see a lot more plastic. I'm kind of hitting pan on this one, but they're pretty similar. Yeah, they're like pretty much similar. Even when they're applied on, they look pretty similar. So if you like, Clinique Ginger Pop color. This is pretty much the exact same. So yeah, that's the only thing. I like the cream blushes. Just apply it with a brush is what I would recommend. And it does last pretty much all day for me. I don't find that it slips and slides or anything. And they're really pigmented. And yeah, that's pretty much it for that. The next product that I got is the Luminizing Powder. This looks like that. It doesn't look like I use it that much. Yeah, I kind of didn't really use it that much. Uh, this is their Luminizing Powder and this is in Dusk Reflection, which is their darkest shade. I got this because I saw Tara or Tara Miyahira. I can't, I don't remember how to say her last name, but she used it as a bronzer, I believe, in one of her videos. And so I am trying to replace my Tarte bronzer, which I actually still use and I do still love. So I'm not too upset about it that I still have some left, but after I am done that, I am looking for a bronzer. So I got this, hoping that this would replace it. Because it is a luminizing powder, I didn't find that it's all that pigmented. 
see if I can... I don't think you guys can even see that. For me, I find it pretty sheer uh, to be used as a bronzer. I definitely wouldn't use that to contour. That's not going to do anything for you. It's got a slight sheen to it. And my Tarte bronzer is actually a matte bronzer, which I prefer for contouring. It does apply well with a brush, but once again, it's not all that pigmented. So it's more of a natural, light, bronzy look, I guess, and it would be good for every day. For me, I don't find that it shows up in photos or anything. I don't think that it does well for that. So yeah, it's not something that I'd wear if I was going out, but definitely if I was, you know, going to work and I needed to put on, add a little bit of color that looks natural, of course, then I would put on the luminizing powder. I know the luminizing powder is more kind of like a finishing powder, I guess just to give you kind of like a glow, and I haven't used it for that purpose yet. I honestly just got it to see if I could use it as a bronzer. I don't really like to have any sort of sheen on my skin, really, when I'm going out or going to work, so I don't use it as a proper luminizing powder. But yeah, I don't find that it works well as a bronzer in terms of like a contouring bronzer. But definitely if you... I feel like maybe if you're like a lighter skin tone than me, I kind of have like an olivey undertone, so I do get dark during the summer. I mean, right now I'm not all that dark, but it wouldn't show up on a darker skin tone, I don't think. I do find that it does blend pretty decently with a brush. It's lightweight. I don't feel it when it's on my skin, which is good, and it's natural. Uh, the only thing for me is that I don't find that it lasts all day. I think by the end of the day, when I look in the mirror, I feel like it has faded or something, or I'd have to reapply. So I'm not a huge, huge fan of this. Definitely haven't grabbed towards it all that much. I mean, I used it quite a bit when I first got it. I mean, I'll find a purpose for it eventually, but I'm just not super interested in it right now. But yeah, right now I'm still loving my Amazonian Clay Matte Tarte Bronzer. Bronzer? My Amazonian Clay Tarte Matte Bronzer. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any green, non-toxic bronzers that I can look into. The last thing that I got is the Honest Beauty Everything Tinted Moisturizer Oil Free. I got this because Jen Rogers has this. I was actually looking at the other bottle, which is just their tinted moisturizer, but I got the oil free one. Not that I have oily skin, but I do have combination skin, so sometimes I get oily and sometimes I don't. I don't know. Um, so I got this, and what's... Oh, I got it in Honestly Nectar, which is actually the same color as what Jen uses. <laughs> so we're twins! <laughs> Anyways, so I got this, and the interesting story about this is that I was super excited to use this when I got it, and I used it, and then, like, I started to get these weird bumps along my, like, upper cheeks here, and this was all when I was trying out the Honest Beauty stuff all in one go. And I wasn't sure if it was the cream blush, if it was this, and I started to freak out. I was like, oh no, one of these things are reacting weird to my skin, which is bizarre. My skin rarely ever reacts to anything. I never have had a major breakout. I've never had a crazy reaction to a product before, whether it's non-toxic or toxic. It was just weird. I was kind of shocked to think like, oh, Honest Beauty kind of triggered something. So I started to slowly just go through each thing once. I used them, you know, only used the cream blush the one day to see if it did anything, only used a bronzer um, like a few days later to see if it did anything, and then only used this. Almost certain it was this. At first I thought it was a cream blush because it was around this area and that's how I was applying my cream blush. But it turns out it was none of them. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it's something that I ate, if it was the weather, I don't know, but it was none of the Honest Beauty products, which is good to know, and I'm glad. If it was this, I would have sent this to you, Jen. This would have been yours, but sorry, I ended up working out and I'm keeping it. So my thoughts on this tinted moisturizer, this is actually my favorite product out of everything that I've gotten. At first, I wasn't a fan of how thick it is. It is a very thick tinted moisturizer, so I feel like the tinted moisturizer I've used before, I've used like Tarte, and it's more liquidy, I guess? Like, this is thick. This is like oil paint thick. It's stiff when it comes out. Because it's so thick, I, you know, would apply it on my skin here and then I would just dot it on my face or I would drag it on my face and I found that that worked. What I've been doing recently is actually just squeezing a little bit out and kind of just dabbing it all over, making these little tiny, tiny dots all over my skin. And my recommendation for this is that to definitely blend it out with a beauty blender. I don't recommend you doing it with your fingers. I just, I never found it that efficient or blended out that well with my fingers. Let me know if you guys have tried blending this out with a brush and comment down below, but it blends out really well with a beauty blender. It is, it takes a little bit more work, but it's 
great. The coverage on this tinted moisturizer is definitely medium rather than light. You would assume that a tinted moisturizer is a light coverage, but this, because it is thick, I do find that it's medium coverage. I love it. I mean, I've been wearing it every day because it has some SPF in it, so I do like to have some sort of protection during the day. But if I'm going out, I am gonna wear this over my other foundation that's non-toxic, which is Dr. Hoshka's, um, which is super light. But this is perfect to cover like redness, evens out my skin tone. Like I said, I don't have huge breakouts to tell you how well it covers those up, but it definitely covers redness. It definitely evens my skin tone out really nicely and it looks really natural, so I do like that. Another thing with this tinted moisturizer is that it does last all day for me and I don't feel it on my skin when it's blended out, which is nice. The only thing that sucks about this moisturizer is photography. Because it has SPF in it, I do find it does give you a white cast, at least at night is what I've noticed. Um, during the day, it's like you don't have to worry about it, but at night, definitely, there's a white cast for sure. Um, that's the only downfall, but aside from that, this is a really great tinted moisturizer. Um, it's thicker, which is the only difference, and takes a little bit of work to blend out, but it blends out really nicely, and it's a great coverage moist tinted moisturizer, and yeah. I have nothing really all that bad to say about it aside from the white cast, which is kind of a given if you have anything with SPF in it. If you guys have any questions about the products that I have, I can answer them for you as best as possible since I have used them for quite a while. I'm not sure if I'm answering all your questions. So let me know in the comments below. And once again, thank you, Jen. Uh, you pretty much supplied the products for this video. So yeah, if you liked this video and you found that it was helpful, please give it a thumbs up to let me know. Subscribe to my channel for more and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.